My name is David Zambrano, but I go by Dez for my artwork. I've been an artist for all my life, basically. Um, I won my first competition when I was in kindergarten, and I kind of knew from then on that I could draw a little bit better than the rest of the kids. What inspired me for the um, 2020 gallery place, gallery concept, uh, was a variety of things. I wanted to definitely express, and because I have a graffiti background, I wanted to do the Black Lives Matter, and I wanted to make it just a simple point, use block lettering and, and get there, so that was one of my pieces. Uh, the dub in the hand was another piece that was important to me because through all this, we still need to rise up. For all this, we still need to remember that uh, peace and love are essential items. I mean, while change is, of course, what we're all striving for, um, it has to come around unity, peace, and love. So that was the dove piece. Um, so those were probably my two favorites. Uh, also the one at the Capitol Arena, uh, that was just kind of in the moment, making it all come together with sports and the message at the same time. This process differed from my normal work in that I feel it was, it was a little bit more emotional and, and some of it was very much off the cuff. Like I didn't put a lot of planning or, or even um, practice into it. it. It just came very emotional, very natural. I had the concept when I arrived and just began executing as soon as I got there. So it was more deliberate and I feel like it, it showed in the artwork. The impact that art can have on a community and a neighborhood, I think is gigantic. I think we as artists have the responsibility to deliver messages, but we have the capability to do it in an aesthetically pleasing manner. I think that that is something that uh, politicians can't do, activists can't do. Uh, I think a lot of other people can't make a message come to life with color, vibrance, and impact the way that artists can. So uh, I feel like we can do more, uh, more with less. The impact and the importance I don't feel has changed uh, over the last month or so. I think it's only gotten stronger. I think the fact that the messages remain where they are and or have already been captured and disseminated through social media, um, through different avenues, I think that it's more impactful than ever now because you don't you don't have that same noise, you don't have the same coverage by the uh, you know the television and, and, and the radio media, but you still have people sharing their message over and over again through their own devices, through mobile devices, through photography, through videography. And I think that that will resonate. And because some of these items were captured and actually you know, put on the news, put on television, uh, they're gonna stay around for a long, those are archived now. And uh, I think that that's, that's a fantastic thing. I think art plays a role in the Black Lives Matter movement because of the impact it can have. And because it, you can choose a thousand words and it may not do what one painting or one visual concept can bring to the table. And it's bigger, it's bigger. Uh, words are sometimes lost or misconstrued, uh, but art makes you think. And art sometimes digs a lot deeper than words. Um, I personally feel that a lot. And so uh, I think for this movement specifically, we've all seen the videos that sparked all of this outrage and, and need and, and uh, direct message for social change, but at the same time, I think when you can create art, when you can take those sentiments, those feelings, that outrage, that passion, that love, that joy, that sorrow, and put it all together, uh, I think that it has an abundant impact and, and a residual impact, because again, it continues to be shared, it continues to be disseminated to other people everywhere. What I would love to see change in America is, is the simple understanding that minorities, Hispanics, Blacks, all minorities, we play an integral and important part in the history of this country. And I think that that's been overshadowed for a long time. And that change I think needs to happen at a very early age and it needs to be taught in schools. It needs to be disseminated early. It needs to be accurately portrayed in these 
books that you give to children from an early basis. Um, I think that there is an equality standard that is spoken about a lot, but isn't achieved. And in my lifetime, I, you know, being 44, one of the older artists, I, I'd hope to have seen more progress. When I see pictures from the 1920s and 1940s and the 1960s, and then I see pictures today that resemble them very, very, very closely, it's disheartening. But at the same time, I think that we live in a time of change where that can, it can happen a lot faster now. I think painting large scale murals is special because you have an immediate audience from creation to fulfillment. And I think that it's, it wows people to see something come together like that. And it's not something that they are able to see on a daily basis. It's not something that you experience on a daily basis. There's not a bunch of shows that are showing that. Uh, and those that are patient enough to either come by and stay and watch or leave and come by later, they experience that. And I think it helps them to see something beautiful come out of something that may not possibly be beautiful. Um, and it, it, it drives home the message. Depending on which mural they're looking at, I hope they feel everything from uplifted to challenged. I hope that, uh, especially the graffiti piece, the Black Lives Matter graffiti piece, I hope that it screams that message over and over again. And I hope that it sinks in and it digs in where it should. The Dove piece, I hope that people see that one and feel uplifted, feel like there is hope and positivity and uh, that ability for all of us to come together and show that unity. And the, uh, the Capital Center piece, um, I just hope people can see that it, it goes beyond just your daily life. It, it does travel into sports. The message is, is everywhere and it should be everywhere. Words of encouragement that I would share with others would be along the lines of just dig, dig deep within yourself. You know, there's a message happening right now in America and I don't, I don't feel like people have that ability to look themselves in the mirror and be honest. Um, I think there's a lot of, well, it, that either doesn't have anything to do with me or, well, you know, I, I've never said anything bad. And I think that's, that's very uh, passive. I think this is a time where passivity needs to be put on the back burner and action needs to be taken. And, and everyone can play their part. Silence is not playing a part. Um, it's not playing a part of good, at least. So I would hope that that message comes out because artwork is our way of expressing, our way of shouting and being loud and being consistent. Um, and everybody has that. Everybody has that ability. I mean, it, you don't have to have a eight by four area somewhere to make a statement. 